Hi everybody, this is Jerome with Go Geronimo. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own modern wooden arrows for archery. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial from start to finish on how to make your own modern wooden arrows. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you tips and tricks where I get my supplies and some more information on upcoming archery videos. Let's get to what you're going to be needing for this build along. Alright everybody, so what you're going to be needing for this video is a 5 16 inch wooden dowel, a glue on filled tip, this is this happens to be a 5 16 100 grain, a plastic knot glue on 5 16 you're going to need three fletches, I'm using feather fletches, um, two yellow, one orange, I'm going to have odd color out. I'll show you what that means later. Also need a tapering tool for your 5 16 dowels. You're also going to need a feather fletch jig or a fletching jig. And something I introduced to you in another video was the dip tube. This is going to be used for adding on that clear coat. What I have here is a 5 16 inch inch wooden dowel that I got from Walmart. You can get it from Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, their Poplar. Um, you're more than welcome to spend more money on better wood to make this video but or to make this arrow, but I find these to be very sufficient. Alright everybody, so if you decided to go ahead and make your arrows with wooden dowels from your local store, uh, like I do, there are a couple things that you should look for. First thing is you want to make sure that your arrow shaft is straight um, you don't want any bends in it or not too many bends uh, in your arrow shaft. Second thing is you don't want to have any knots. The third thing that you want to look for is you want to have very obvious um, wood grain patterns on your arrow. Uh, I'll tell you why later on. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prep this dowel. We're going to dip it and we're going to hang it. Um, we're not going to cut it yet. That's going to be next. I usually start with a 320 on this and I just kind of sandpaper it while twisting it, twist it and push it through. Alright so now we're ready to dip our dowel into the dipping tube and what I do is I just take some masking tape and make a tag end um, by wrapping the masking tape over the uh, edge of the dowel and so I can make a tag end so I can clip this to a rope that I have here on a ceiling. I've got some cardboard here at the bottom so when it drips down it's going to drip onto the cardboard and not make any mess. So take your dowel, stick it in the tube, pull it back out, and just clip it to uh, something that's hanging so that you can have it. Now that the finish on your dowel is all nice and dry you can go ahead and remove it from being hung. Then we're going to sandpaper the finish with 800 grain sandpaper. I use a light grain because I don't want to remove everything I put on it. So just sandpaper it lightly. After we sand it, now we're going to cut it to size. I use 28 inches on mine. It's kind of a standard. Plain old ordinary saw will do. Now you take your 28 inch dowel and your tapering tool, 5 16 and you go ahead and taper both sides. One side gets the long side, one gets the short side. Now that you got your 28 inch dowel tapered on both sides, we're going to go ahead and glue on the knock and the field tip. I myself use Super glue. This is Loctite Gel Control Super Glue. Just make sure that when you're gluing on your knock, the wood grain pattern is pointing backwards and the raised portion of your knock is meeting up with that.
got your knock and your field tip glued on, we can start fletching. Now that we've glued on our field tip and our plastic knock and the raised portion is in line with the wood grain, we're going to set up our jig to make sure that our first feather, which is our odd feather, is also going to line up with the knock and the wood grain, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to be using this brand, the boning fletching jig. If you're not using this, you're just going to have to use some common sense while you're lining yours up. First thing you want to do is go ahead and place your arrow inside the fletching jig and go ahead and put it together. Now you notice that the raised portion of the knock is right there. Go ahead and turn it until it lines up with the fletching jig. All right, now it is. It's lined up. And then you're going to go ahead and place the first feather in your jig. Draw a line where the end of the feather is so that every single feather after it is going to be in the same place on your arrow. Now we can put some glue on it. Alright. Give it a little bit of a push. Let it sit for about 30-40 seconds. After the first fletch is dry, we can just remove this portion, turn this until it locks into place again, add the next fletch on, glue it, and place it back on. And you do the same thing for the last one. Now that you have all your fletches on, you're going to go ahead and take your super glue and put a bead in front of every fletch. That's going to reinforce the tip so it doesn't peel back. A couple things you can do with this is finish the wood. You can use any kind of finish. You can even make it black by using like an onyx finish. Um, you can change the colors of your fletches. This one I would use um, for practice so I can find the arrow after I shot something out into the tree line, you know. It, it's more visible. If you already went to the store and got your 5 16 inch dowel, you'd realize that that's the only size that they have that you can use for archery building. The next size up would be 11 30 seconds. The next video I'm going to shoot is to show you how to make a 3 8 into 11 30 seconds. So uh, look for that video. Thanks for watching this video. I know it was kind of long, uh, but I feel like I put a lot of information into about 12 minutes. You should be able to watch this video from start to finish and make your own modern wooden arrow. Hit like, subscribe, and share my video. Thank you very much. Bye.